Welcome back to Death Toll Racing. We're going to put a belt sander attachment on our grinder today. I'm putting this on a dedicated grinder that I'm going to leave this belt sander on. Um, it is a DeWalt 20 volt brushless. Um, these are my grinder of choice around my shop. Um, unless I'm doing really heavy grinding, these uh, usually will do the job. And it is really nice to be able to take them out into the field without having uh, to drag a cord or a generator or an inverter or something along with you. All right, so first step is just take the guard off the grinder, and then if your grinder has a lock on it of some sort uh, on, the, on the grinder itself, it's probably going to be in the way. Uh, you'll probably have to remove that as well. Then you're going to want to open up the clamp as far as you need to to get your grinder nose into it. Um, on this DeWalt, this is probably on the larger side, so the screw actually ends up being all the way out. So we're going to have to replace that screw with a bolt. Um, it's a metric bolt. Uh, with a 10 millimeter head, I believe that's a, what is that, a six millimeter bolt? Um, and, it, and it works works just fine. And it is nice now, it actually has a hex head instead of a Phillips head. So it makes it a little bit uh, more dummy proof. Uh, so, so and who doesn't have a 10 millimeter laying around? Unless you lost them all, which is quite possible as well. Um, if you're putting this on your grinder, be prepared to modify it. Because it's most likely going to need to be modified. Um, and in this situation, you can see the drive wheel is sticking out farther than the idler wheels on the uh, attachment itself. So we are going to have to shorten that thing up so that we can get it to thread on a little bit farther so that the belt is running straight on there um, and not trying to run uh, diagonal. Okay, so I determined we need to take about a quarter inch off that thing. So I'm just gonna do it on a belt sander. Um, and then if you can't get it quite square, then you probably finish that up with a file. Um, and we'll see how close we get our offset. And we created a new problem, and that is now it won't thread on all the way because the uh, we need to remove the first couple threads. All right, guys, uh, so I know this looks really, really cheesy, um, but this is actually gonna probably work pretty good. Um, and yes, I actually do own a lathe, but most people don't, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm just trying to find a good way, but um, using this step, bit, this is a DeWalt one inch, uh, seven eighths or one inch, uh, seven eighths um, step bit, it actually ends up almost piloting, just perfect on the bottom, and we should be able to remove a couple threads um, on this, like this. We just need to get a ch the chamfer back since I just ground it all off. Um, and once we're all done and we get this thing so the offsets are right, we're gonna file that um, and try to file it as flat as possible. Pretty good, I think we got it. Yeah, okay. That looks a lot better already. I ended up taking about a quarter inch off of that thing. Um, yes, you could offset this in out, but I want it engaged on as much of the grinder as possible, um, just so everything kind of stays rigid. So it's still into the inside of the die, but it is a lot straighter now, the belt. It is to, towards the inside, so technically it would go more, but I do worry. Um, it looks like we are getting really close to the end of the threads. Um, when you look down the hole. Um, and that would be hard to do without having a lathe to thread that deeper. Um, it's just 5 8 11, but it's, um, is that what it is, 5 8 11? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, it, it's just 5 8 11, and why they didn't taper it, to, uh, drill it all the way through, uh, maybe a strength thing, I'm not sure, or maybe so you don't put it on backwards. Um, but anyway, that, there we go. I think that'll work. Um, if it starts eating the inside of the belt, um, then we'll fudge it down a little bit farther. But that actually, even without filing, it still runs pretty true. These are just steel washers. This is rubber on a aluminum insert. That's what that is. So cordless belt sander so far, so good. Oh, I guess this goes on here. If you wanna use it this way, I don't know if this would be any more comfortable. Kind of awkward, really. I, I think this, <laughs> this handle's better. I'm gonna go ahead and not use that one. 
Let's give it a shot. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that actually is pretty sweet. So it's actually not as hard to use as I was expecting. I was expecting it to kind of torque, you know, while on here, I was expecting it to kind of want to torque or maybe like run up and down the tube, but it really doesn't because it's cupped in like that. It doesn't actually, I guess if I, if I put no resistance on it whatsoever, um, as far as whole resisting it up and down, it does run up the pipe a little bit. It does not take much force to keep it down. Another thing, it is not that sensitive having it one way or the other. It doesn't make the belt try to crawl like crazy or anything. Um, I thought it was gonna be really sensitive again uh, about how straight you put it on there. And if you're crooked at all one way or the other, I thought it would really matter, but it really doesn't. I'll back that up so you can kind of see. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really digging that. Um, I, you know, I thought I saw these things online and I just really, really had the gimmicky uh, light on pretty hard, hardcore, but um, that is not bad at all. All right, guys, honest review time, bullet point style, real fast. On the clamp ring, there's only four tack welds, TIG weld tax welds, no filler. Um, I have a fee sneaky suspicion if I were to drop this thing, it, it may break off. Um, under normal usage, it doesn't seem to flex even when I push on it as hard as I can, as hard as I can without overpowering it. Um, it doesn't flex at all, so it's it's not like a concern of it failing. But if you drop it, uh, it may break off. But it is just steel, and so is this. You just tack it back on. Not a big deal. Concern number two: these wheels are made of plastic. It's possible you break one, have to make a new one, have to order one, or whatever. The bearings are just a standard bearing. You can probably get an ace. Um, probably not a big deal. I don't think it's gonna fail using it. I think it's like if you drop it. And if you're like me, you'll drop it eventually. Um, so that, that's a little bit of a concern. Um, concern number three, and some of this may be just uh, me not having it straight on the grinder here where it's clamped, but it is a little bit in. Um, so it's pulling this side tighter than this side. Um, which is making it walk up this lower wheel. Um, so I'm gonna try to straighten that out and, and adjust it. If I can't get that to adjust, I'm probably gonna have to bend it um, a little bit just to, get, just to get it out so it stays straighter. Um, it's not that big of a deal and it works the way it is and it only did that because I, was, I literally was using it, pushing as hard as I could on there uh, to see if it would stall the grinder, which it doesn't do. Um, there's a little video. Here, here, I'll just do it again. Works pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but you can see there, it's riding up on that inside. Um, if this, if I get this lined up a little better, um, which may not be possible, I may just have to bend it. Um, I can alleviate that, or I can just live with it. Uh, either, either one. Um, concern number four: this handle. I don't like this handle. Uh, if you were to use the handle that they give you, it's out like this. Um, it makes you one use a dead man grip wrong, uh, where it'd be really hard to actually dead man it. Um, without just letting go of the grinder. And two, it puts you right in line of the, of the wheel. Um, and it's actually, it's actually somewhat awkward. I mean, you can get out of line of it, but you're not using it as, as awkward, um, using everything about it. But having the grinder like this and this thing there, it's, it's pretty easy. So I don't like that handle. I'm gonna cut that off of mine. So I'll avoid my warranty once again. 
All right guys, so that just about sums it up. Like, comment, subscribe. If you've tried this on another machine and you can't get it to work on another grinder, definitely comment that below so others can read that and make sure that they don't buy this and have the same disappointment that you had. Um, as far as what it fits, I, I believe it's gonna be fine on even corded and cordless DeWalt's. I believe Milwaukee's are the same. I, I know I've tried to stick Milwaukee guards on DeWalt's and it's it's not the diameter of the of the neck there that's the problem. It's it's just just the way it works uh, is the problem. Um, so I, I don't I, I'm pretty sure this would fit no problem on a on a uh, one of uh, Milwaukee as well. Um, you're you're probably gonna just count on having to modify this thing one way or another to get the offset right for yours uh, for your grinder. Um, I would just count on that. I, I doubt it's gonna be right. Whether you're putting washers on it to shim it out or grinding it like I did to shim it in, um, I, I just would count on that. I just don't see that um, ever fitting one without having to modify it. But if you did put this on one, you didn't have to modify anything, definitely put that in those comments below so if someone is gonna buy a grinder specifically for this guy, um, they can buy the right one. Um, I like this one though. Uh, I would probably just do it this way again. Even, even though I had to modify it a little bit, I like these to walk. Uh, cord this one. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you again real soon.